Hey all, welcome back to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. My name is Kurt. Today we're going to discuss a topic that I've wanted to I've, I've wanted to get into for quite some time now, and I've had hundreds of comments concerning how do I drink whiskey? You know, what's the best way? What's your favorite way? So we're going to discuss all those topics, and I'm going to give you four different ways that you can drink whiskey. And today we're going to focus only on bourbon. As you can see on the bar top, I have my absolute favorite release from Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C919. It's my favorite. I, I had to use it for this video. I would, I would have to assume that, that what we're going to discuss today with bourbon would relate very well with rye whiskey as well. But single malt, scotch, those kind of things, that's for another day and another topic. So, but today we're going to deal with this Elijah Craig Barrel Proofed C919 Bourbon How to Drink Whiskey. First and foremost, let me get this out of the way right now. Whatever the case, you need to drink what you like and the way you like it. Not one person should ever tell you that you're drinking it wrong or that's the only way to drink whiskey. Nobody should ever say that because you're the consumer, you're buying the bottle, and you're going to drink it. So I just want to give you several different options and then you can test it out at home. You can try these different ways and that way you can figure out what's best for you and the way you like it, doggone it, is the right way. And that's that. The very first topic that I want to discuss with you is how I personally start a new bottle. Now, a lot of people say, and it is true, when you first open up a fresh bottle, you kind of need to get it down to the neck here to really get a feel, let that bottle open up and so forth. But for presentation, we have this beautiful bottle here, this full bottle. But so everybody knows this bad boy that's almost empty. This is both the C919. This is what we're using for the video today. But keep in mind when you first open a bottle, it will take a few weeks, get it down a little bit, let that bourbon open up and you really catch most of the most of the flavors and it will tame down just a bit. So past that, I always take the first sip neat. If I'm trying a new bourbon, I take it neat. I want to really, I really want to catch the, uh, the nuances of the flavors and you want to get the, the nosing correctly. And if you pour it over ice or something like that right away, it's going to dilute and you're not going to get you're not going to get the full flavor so you want to try it neat if you can right off the bat and in order to do that you have to have a proper glass you really need to have a proper glass what we have in the bar top is the slb drinks glen cairn it's a beautiful glass trenton did a fantastic job man really proud of him for this stuff put a lot of work into it He's the one to design the logo. You can catch all of our stuff at slbdrinks.com. If you want any of our merchandise, including this Glen Karen, you can find it there. So the important thing with the proper bourbon glass or whiskey glass, it needs to be bulbous on the bottom and it needs to funnel up to the nose. That way all those aromas are gonna come from the glass all the way up in your nose and funnel right to you. I like to use my Norlin glass too quite a bit, and it's the same principle. It funnels that right up to your nose. You can find all different kinds. You can find stemmed bourbon glasses. You can find all different kinds. But make sure you use, if you can, use a proper bourbon glass. Very important. Now, this has been sitting out a while because we poured this right before we started filming. But I like to take it and kind of give it a little swirly swirl because this is a 12 year old bourbon, right? Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, 12 years old. So you don't want to just pour and sip. You don't want to do that. You want to, you want to let it, you know, let it get in the glass, swirl it around just a touch. I mean, you don't have to jostle it around like a washing machine, but just give it some twirls, take it to the nose and see what you got. Another very important part here, I, I learned this. I have a little bit of an issue. I had sinus surgery some years ago and, and I got rotor rooted out pretty darn good up in there. So my smeller isn't quite up to snuff as normal people. So I was having a real hard time picking up, you know, different profiles on the nose. I just was, and then I got a tip. I found out if you open your mouth just a touch, when you're nosing, you're gonna pick up, you're gonna pick up those aromas and the profiles 
a lot better. So open your mouth just a touch and you should be able to catch a few different things here on the glass. You know, right off the bat, there's just tons of, there, there's just tons of different, I don't know, Thanksgiving spices of some sort, but you definitely get uh, some caramel on there too. It's just a beautiful, beautiful nose. Now, I will tell you this too. I, I don't know. I, I, I keep telling you folks that I, I'm not a professional and I'm not, you know, I, I love what we do down here, but if I can get two, maybe three different profiles on the nose, I'm happy with that. I don't know how these guys do it. You know, maybe they're just that much better than I am and that's fine by me. But if they can rip off six, eight, ten different things on the nose, uh, I don't know. I don't know how you do that. But for me, if you're working on this at home, if I could pick up a couple of really dominant profiles on the nose, I'm thrilled with that. So keep that in mind on the palate as well. If I get three solid flavor profiles on the palate, I'm gold. I don't need to know the six or eight other things that somebody can get if they really try hard, you know. I, I don't need that. So we already found out what we have on the nose of this Elijah Craig. Let's see what we have on the palate here. So I'm going to take the first sip. Neat. Man, Trent, that stuff is <laughs> that stuff is fabulous. It just is. I've had this again, as you can see. You know, I pretty much know this back, you know, frontwards and backwards, but to me, there's just, there's three different dominant, dominant uh, palette profiles here. You got some black pepper. This is like a caramel bomb and some outstanding barrel char on here. Like, a, like the oaky char is just beautiful in this particular release. However, the very first sip your palate is not really accustomed or used to the higher proof or any proof for bourbon for that matter. So always take a second sip and see what you get on the second sip. Neat. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. Your palate is definitely more accustomed to that higher proof, especially. I can get a, I can get those dominant flavors even better now because I took that second sip neat. Uh, my my preference uh, in sipping neat is somewhere between 90 and 105 proof, somewhere in there. I don't know, just kind of guessing. Um, Evan Williams Single Barrel 1870 Old Forester we had the other day. Eagle Rare, great one, sipping neat. So moving on from there, we got to get to the next one. Add just a little bit of touch of water. Add a real good water, like filtered, or I even have a little bit of some purified drinking water here. What that's going to do, it's going to definitely tame down the proof. So 136 proof, and this Elijah Craig Burrow proof, that's too high for you. Try adding a little bit of water to that. And a lot of times it will enhance the flavor profile too. But keep in mind, don't be freaked out. I've also had it where it kind of didn't help it at all and almost hurt it. I don't know why that is, but sometimes it's different. One is different to the other. But for this one, what I like to do, and you, you can put in your own increments. Some people put in drops of water, whatever works for you. For now, I like to use the cap as a little bit of a gauge. So I'll put a little bit in this cap and I'll put it right in the glass. So we're adding a little bit of water, good water, to the glass, so we want to get another twirl in there, roll that around a bit, so everything acclimates together, take it up again. My opinion didn't really change the nose that much, let's see what we got on the palate. My honest opinion, it actually, it, it, it truly did take down the proof, a lot less shocking on the palate, but I'm just being honest, for me, it also kind of dumbed down the flavor pro profile just a touch those flavor, those three dominant uh, palate profile or palate uh, flavor profiles are kind of muted to me, just a touch. But that's something you want to try. All of them are different. Every one of them are different. I, I, I want to be perfectly clear on that. Every bourbon is going to react differently. Find out what you like. All right, real quickly, because I just didn't want, I'm going to pour this last one here real quick while we're doing the video. 
because I didn't want it sitting there and diluting the whole time. So I'm going to pour a little bit right here on the last one while we're speaking over ice. But the third different way that you can drink whiskey is actually over whiskey stones. Now this is a whiskey stone. It's right here. Now what these are, this was a gift. You can actually put these in the freezer. They come with a little handy dandy bag and different things. It's, it's pretty cool. You know, uh, you can put them, in this, put them in this bag and you put them in the freezer and they freeze. So basically you can pour your whiskey over the whiskey stones as you can see here. It's not going to dilute at all. So no water is going to be added to the bourbon, but it's going to be chilled now. Let's, let's check it out. I'll be honest with you. I've never tried. I've never. I've never had this gift honey before. I've never even. I've never opened it. Never tried it until right now. So, my thought is. This is just my thought. Just being honest. I'm. I'm drinking. I just had a had a sip of some chilled Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. It's going to be the same. The, the, the exact same proof. It's not going to change. I don't really know what the necessity would be there, to be honest with you. It's uh, If I really, really like the particular whiskey, especially a bourbon like we're discussing today, chilled, I'm just going to, I'm just going to put a tray, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and just pour some that way. That's what I'm going to do. So, but if you have an option for whiskey stones and you do like a good whiskey, a good bourbon chilled where it doesn't dilute, the stones is, is a really good option. Last but not least, we're going to get into this over ice now there are several i usually don't pour anything over ice unless it's well over 100 proof that's just me uh, some of my favorites uh rare breed jack daniel single barrel i love knob creek single barrel over a block of ice now me pre my preference is a single cube of ice i use the clear ice it dilutes you know it doesn't dilute as fast We've talked about that. If you want to check out the video, we have a, a clear ice video that you can you can check out there. I'm not a I'm not a real big fan of multiple cubes. So you pour the whiskey over one cube, and you have it over ice. Let's check that out. To me, that's pretty darn good. It's not quite as good as my favorites, like I told you about. I love the rare breed over over a single chunk of ice. To me, it muted the flavors just a touch. On oh, the rare breed, for some reason for me, boy, when it dilutes a little bit and it's a little bit chilled, it elevates everything. That's what I'm telling you. You really have to find out for yourself. You have to check out the bottle you have. Try these different ways. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I would probably stick with this Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Neat. I really would. Because the flavors are just so powerful in this glass here. Neat. But again... I've got several. I, I, I only drink certain ways for the most part, depending on my mood. So, hey, those are a few ways that you can all try drinking bourbon. And again, please let me reiterate and let me emphasize. Drink what you like the way you like it. Try it different ways. See what you got. Hope this video was helpful, man. I had a great time sharing this information with you. As always... We ask you to please drink responsibly, and we'll see you next time right down here with me in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.